Good evening, everybody. Yeah, almost didn't get a video today because it's late, but I'm here. This will be posted today, barely, but today, nonetheless. Um, welcome those of you that are new. Not too many new subscribers lately. Nobody loves me anymore. But nonetheless, a uh, new link in the about section to my Instagram that I have to have. So if you'd like to do me a favor, especially those of you that have asked me months ago if I have an Instagram, I do now because it was made for me and it's a contractual obligation. I don't understand uh, Instagram all that well and I understand the point of it, but I think it's more complicated than it needs to be. But yeah, it's there now. So please uh, go like me on Instagram because I have to promote myself on Instagram as well as, well, I don't actually promote my own website. That's completely done for me. But I have to run an Instagram now that was set up for me. And I'm like, ooh, this is, ooh, this is, this is a little hard showing my age here. Better showing my age on Instagram than here, right? But regardless, I'll get on topic now. I talk obviously a lot, you can see the titles, and if you're not new, about cluster B personality disorders. You all know that I was raised by a borderline mother and an enabler father and a narcissist, well, not raised by, but I have a narcissistic brother. We're gonna talk about the black sheep of cluster B personality disorders. And it's usually mentioned in passing, but I think somebody needs to do like a full video on it. And that's histrionic personality disorder or H HPD, there we go, it's late. <laughs> Um, thing about histrionic personality disorder is, is there is some debate in the mental health community, which I am not a part of, by the way. I'm, well, I guess I am technically a part of the medical community being an EMT, but you know, barely. But there is debate in the mental health community about whether histrionic personality disorder is its own disorder or is it a subset of borderline personality disorder, because there's a lot of overlap. I think my mother would fit in both categories, but you know. It's just my observation, just my intuition. So this is going to be about histrionic personality disorder. Things to know if you're dealing with a histrionic or a histrionic borderline, depending on what camp you fall into, whether it's a subset. You know, it's like species and subspecies kind of thing. So histrionic personality disorder is a cluster B personality disorder. It's a mental health condition that is marked by unstable emotions and a distorted image of self, an overwhelming desire to be noticed. Histrionics, like borderlines and overt narcissists, all need to be the center of the attention at all times. A lot of overlap and a lot of cluster B, so, you know, that's why they're in the same cluster. Some key points about histrionic personality disorder is a histrionic needs to be the center of attention at all time. They often have uh, inappropriate, seductive, or provocative behavior all the time, particularly if they're not the center of attention, they will resort to that in order to become the center of attention again, even if acting in that way is completely inappropriate for the environment. You know, yeah, histrionics are very sexually inappropriate, not just where and when, but also with who. Like... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I was going to tell some stories about me being a teenager and being hit on by women my mother worked with who were in their 40s at the time, but that's a story for another day. We'll go down that rabbit hole another day, I promise. Um, histrionics have moods that are constantly shifting, although their moods and emotions are usually very shallow at all times. Very shallow, very superficial, very attention and materialistically focused at all times. Keeping up with the Jones is a big thing for them. They use their appearance to draw attention. Um, they'll dress inappropriately for given events, you know, where provocative, seductive dress is not appropriate or stuff that isn't age appropriate. They'll, they want to draw attention to themselves at all times. Histrionics are big on uh, getting work done, plastic surgery, that kind of thing, holding on to their youth and putting down others that get compliments. Like, you know, like, I looked better than her when I was that age. And no, you didn't. I've seen the pictures. No, you didn't. You know, it's, it's a lie. That kind of thing, too. They use very impressionistic and vague speech. Histrionics 
are always judging, always. They're very impressionable by whoever spoke to them last, kind of like Donald Trump. Huh? Huh? See the correlation between histrionic and Donald Trump? Maybe, maybe, huh? huh? I'm just an intuitive, I can't diagnose. But they use very vague, platitude-laden speech because they don't really get dive deep into anything. So it's all about who told them what last, that's what they believe, and they'll speak very firmly and very authoritatively, but say nothing. Things like, you know, well, that's just how we do things, or, you know, it is what it is, or that's the way it's always, it's always, you know, that's just what you're supposed to do. It's always platitude -y. And when you call them on that about what they mean by that, or, you know, ask for clarification or specifics, they get really angry really fast. They have dramatic and, you know, exaggerated emotions. Everything is always the end of the world for a histrionic. It's always, a, oh my God, every, the, the slightest inconvenience overwhelms them. Everything's the end of the world. Everything is, you know, help me, somebody help me. <laughs> throw, your, you know, throw their hands up and somebody help them kind of thing. Everything's to the 10th degree. There's no... There's, there's no like, oh, well, this is a little annoying. No, it's, oh, I can't handle this end of the world. That, that, and then the borderline does that too, by the way. But yes, <clears throat> very dramatic and exaggerated at all times. They're easily influenced by others. Histrionics have really no sense of self. They're constantly seeking the attention, the admiration, and the lust of other people, but they have no sense of self and... You know, they follow fads, whatever is popular in the moment. They, you know, which way is the wind blowing today? You know, what what's popular? What, what what do I have to do to be in the center of the group kind of thing? That's a histrionic. No sense of self. Always trying to fit in. Always, you know, shifting to whatever is popular in that moment. And they often think relationships are closer than they are. They not only take advantage of people, but... They'll burden the hell out of, like, an acquaintance and try to guilt that person into thinking that they're so close and that they need them. Not unlike what a borderline does with their favorite person, although that's way worse. That's way, 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 way worse and way, way, way more unhealthy. Yeah, that'd be a, being a borderline's favorite person is obsessive, possessive, deeply disturbing. And terrifying. So, uh, people with histrionic personality disorder typically, you know, have uh, a self-esteem that is completely dependent on others, others admiring them, thinking that they're, you know, all that and being the center of attention. That's where all their self-worth comes from. You know, knowledge and integrity and all that doesn't matter. It's who. Who thinks I'm the greatest at all times? Yeah, they have this overwhelming desire to be noticed at all times, and they'll seek attention any way they can get it. Good attention, bad attention, inappropriate attention, it doesn't matter, as long as they're getting attention, which is their supply, their main supply. Uh, histrionic personality disorder, we'll, we'll, we'll get a little dsm -y here typically begins or is diagnosed like late teens, early 20s. It's more commonly found in women than men. Same with borderline personality disorder, whereas NPD, narcissistic personality disorder, is more commonly diagnosed in men than women. So some common, uh, some common feelings histrionics have is they feel underappreciated or depressed whenever they're not the center of attention, but then again, they think they should always be the center of attention. Um, they often embarrass friends and family when they, with their extremely exaggerated and dramatic, you know, hammy, overacting emotions to be the center of attention. They try to always have a larger than life presence. You know, they come in like a hurricane. My mother was like a hurricane, Hurricane Barbara. <laughs> Ollie Matthews says the same thing about his mother, Hurricane Laura. Histrionics and borderlines are like a hurricane. It's chaos all the time. You can't ignore a hurricane because it's destructive. You can't ignore it. It's 
no matter how hard you try, and ignoring it doesn't make it go away. It just turns a category three into a category five. And you're really in for it. Histrionics use their physical appearance to draw attention to themselves. And I already said they act sexually inappropriate a lot of times. Uh, they have difficulty maintaining relationships like borderlines because histrionics are fake and shallow and think they should be the center of attention. And when a so-called friend isn't giving them, you know, admiration, attention, praise at all times, they're going to boot that person or the friend is going to get sick of the histrionic behavior and wise up and run. Histrionics need instant gratification at all time. They are completely incapable of playing the long game. They need that instant um, gratification or they become bored and frustrated very, very, very easily. And they constantly seek reassurance and approval at all times. They're never satisfied. So this was a brief overview of histrionic personality disorder. As I said, a lot of the same traits as borderline personality disorder. It is debatable whether or not they are two separate disorders or subsets of the same kind of like overt and covert narcissism, but that's not up to me. I just want to make it known. This is kind of the less least known of the cluster Bs, so it was high time I did a video on it. Trust your intuition. If you are dealing with someone who is acting histrionic, know that no amount of attention can satisfy them. They are never satisfied. And, uh, you know, be true to your integrity. If they are taking advantage of somebody you care about, call them out for what they are because the person who's being taken advantage of may not know what they're dealing with or what a histrionic is, as many people don't. Uh, please like and subscribe, comment below, consider sending a tip to the channel, or at least go to the about section and check out my professional modeling Instagram page that I have to have and, you know, follow me so I can look maybe tad legit you want to help me out and do something that's free, especially those of you that asked me if I would make an Instagram, and I said, no, I have no interest in that, and now I have to. So it exists. <laughs> Never thought I'd have to do that. But nonetheless, there it is, and I'm going to behave myself and do what I signed up to do.